something to look for in the big fight coming up with Spence and Crawford. Now we're going to look at how can Spence beat Crawford. Well, he's got to realize that he's got to be more than just a big and stronger guy. He is big and strong, Spence, but he's got to be smart. He's in there with a good counterpuncher who can turn all the dogs to a southpaw. He's a switch hitter. Is Crawford. Crawford, when you start to come in, he'll take a little step back, bang, 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 create a little room and he'll count. So it's up to the Spence from the southpaw position, fail a little bit, use that fake. Get him to move too soon. Get him to make that step just a little prematurely. Huh? And then when he moves too soon, bang, 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 then you can close the gap. And you won't leave yourself wide open. For more about fainting and jabbing, go to dynamicstriking.com.